Welcome to What's Your Thing. My name is Cypher Sounds, and this is the show where I interview my friends and your favorite celebrities about their hidden passions and obsessions. Today's guest, Swiss Beats. Apparently, he's an expert on wine and whiskey. So today, I don't normally drink, but I might get a little twisted. You know what I'm saying? Bottoms up, baby. What's your thing? Yo, ladies and gentlemen, my guest today is one of the greatest human beings on the planet. He's a friend, a DJ, a producer, entrepreneur, humanitarian, and a cultivator of culture. A cultivator? What? <laughs> I just made that up. I like that one. Swiss Beats, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, okay Swiss. Uh, there's so much things I want to talk to you about. Mm -hmm. Apparently, you know, this show's all about your thing. The thing thing. So your thing is wine and whiskey. You're an expert on those. Um, not like you, but... Uh, no, not like me. No, yeah, no, like I got you. expertise, but... Yeah. But, but uh, the network is forcing me to do small talk first. Okay, well, let's get So that. we got to just ask some generic questions. All right. Uh, so album, when is this coming out? November 2nd. Oh, you have a date already? Yeah. Who's on this album? Who you think is on that? All right, let me see. What you been doing lately? Wayne? Wayne, yeah. We got the Locks and Kendrick. You know, we got Jim Jones, which I released. I saw that, yeah. Yeah. Is DMX on there? Um, I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. And it's not a compilation. It's, act, it's an actual album. I, I named the album Poison because in life you have to deal with your poison in order to poison. Ladies and gentlemen, that's for speaks. <laughs> I don't know if you know that. <laughs> what? Jones, no. no. What about, uh, I, I want to apologize. I was asked to do something at your birthday party, to do a show, perform, crazy, comedy man. show, and I bombed horrifically. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It was a disgusting bomb. Okay, Swiss beat, Alicia Keys, that's his wife. I don't know if you guys know that, he's married to royalty. And she asked me uh, to do an improv show at your birthday party. Mm -hmm. And she said the birthday party was like a casino royale. James Bond. James Bond, everything was high end. Everybody mm -hmm. was in black tuxes and mm -hmm. there was, uh, uh, you know, gambling tables, craps, and that other weird European card game that they show in those James Bond movies. Mm -hmm. And they were like, okay, we want you to do an improv show in the middle of that. And I was like, <laughs> in my mind, I was like, this is not going to work. Uh -huh. But I couldn't say no to Swiss Beats and Alicia Keys. So I said, all right, I'm going to give it a try. And we went on stage. And then the amount of backs that we watched. <laughs> and then it was so bad. Tiffany Haddish comes on stage and starts yelling at us like, what the fuck are y'all doing? <laughs> Let me tell you the types of people. On the left side is the Rough Rider camp, D and Wild, whoever, and like, there's some some of your goons from back in the day that you're still loyal to, right? There's goons on this side. And then on this side is like Carmelo Anthony, Christian Louboutin, some Morris other, you know when you know, you know when you're in a room of billionaires, but you don't know who they are, but you know you're like, that guy is a billionaire. And there's, both sides were just like, no, we don't want this. <laughs> Thank you. No, Thank come you. on. I'm, no, seriously. I'm, I'm fucking you. with you, man. I had a, I had a blast. It was an awesome night, man. It was amazing. Um, and you turned 40. Yeah. Now you're a real man. Facts. What I'm, is it? I'm just now starting, though. Okay. Didn't you go to? Why do I think you went to Harvard? Yeah, I did. What was that? Did you went to um, Harvard Business School. Three years, um, executive education. Uh, program, when? OPM for the last three years. When do you do this though? When do you have time? <laughs> you make time. To do this. You make time because I, I just wanted to um, honestly. I felt I reached a peak in the creative space. Yeah. You know, from a musical standpoint, and I was dealing with business outside of music, all yeah. the different things that everybody see I'm into. Love it. And um, I just felt that my educational level wasn't matching with my creative level. Yeah. I love it's like it. The best thing I ever did in my life, to be honest. But it's uh, yeah. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Whoever clapped first is a genius. <laughs> and so so you go to Harvard, how many days a week would you go there? Or how did it work? And we'd be there for weeks, you know, um, sleeping really? on the campus. What? Yeah. You had a dorm room? Yeah. You had like a Bob Marley poster? <laughs> 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 Grateful Dead? 
<laughs> from the Bronx to Harvard, man. Oh, you're from the Bronx. Yeah. You remember that. Yes, I Okay, I'm glad you remember, because I want to bring that up. Could I get the cheese? Do you remember your roots in the Bronx? Absolutely. Okay, your name is Swiss. Why is your name Swiss? I never asked you that. Not because of cheese. Do you hate? <laughs> well, I got I got a plate of Swiss cheese here. No, I got I got my name from K-Swiss Sneakers. Okay. From, I used to not the, back in the day. Not, not the cheese. No. All right. Well, here's the deal. But what made you get the cheese, though? Well, I, we're doing a show here, and I okay, feel okay. I had to connect Pops. with my guests. On this cheese, there are names. Okay. And I want to know how you would go about beating these people up, since your name is Swiss fighting Beats. Them? Yeah, fighting them. Fight them. Yeah, well, you're going to fight okay, today. let's beat somebody up. So, okay, all right, you don't know how to play this. Let me do one. Yeah. Okay, a feral raccoon. See? Now that. I would beat him with the top of a garbage can, because normally you would find a raccoon in your garbage can. Mm -hmm. You know, so I would take the garbage can, the top of it, and I would Pow. beat him. Yeah. Take another piece of cheese. I got a different. Because we got to get to your thing. Tom Brady? Tom Brady, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you were in Harvard. You know how those Boston guys are. I, I beat him in fool's ball. Fool's ball. Oh, that's good. Okay. Ooh, no Jay Z. Jay Z. I got Jay Z. Okay, good. Uh, I would. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is how I usually beat him. I bore him to death with my stories. <laughs> okay. No, not me. Cyber Sam. Come on, man. That's what they just show me your bank you know, account. You know, you know, I, I beat you with the fucking oh. cheese. That's a good one. Um, damn. Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah, how would you uh, beat him up? Or maybe you don't uh, want to beat him up. Uh, huh? You wear red hats, Swiss? Uh, Is that what's happening? <laughs> you know how I feel about the red hat. Okay. You oh, know, yeah, you know, I did you see you. Fuck the MAGA hat. That's how that's how I be. I, I put out uh, "fuck the maga hat" with everybody on the uh, on the verses. What have you put that out? Yeah, you should you should put all these people on that song. That's the raccoon too. <laughs> <laughs> Swiss, you know what? I gotta get to your thing, but before cheese I get, is serious. I mean, I, yeah, I got Swiss cheese. It's real. I'm gonna eat this. You hold this is that paper that's uh, in your pocket. Right oh, I got it. Um, I hope you forget about it too. Right. I'm gonna eat this. Listen, Swiss Beats, uh, a great human being, a friend of mine, and today's show is What's Your Thing is about you love or an expert on whiskeys and wines. I love it, yes. It did it, how did you get into either one of these things? It became an art from traveling and being around yeah. different friends and, you know, actually knowing how to sip wine, drink wine, and. Yeah taste wine, because you could drink wine and don't taste it. And what, what's, the, what's the most expensive bottle of wine you think you have? Um, or like, have, what's like the rarest one? Like That's like a collector's item. I have a Rothschild. Um, Ooh, a Rothschild. 78, that was actually for my birthday. I don't even know if that was a good year, but it was definitely an expensive one. Um, it was a gift. What about whiskey? <laughs> yeah, whiskey, um, I've been leaning more towards whiskey because it just feels like um, I like the, the art of it. I like to dress up and drink whiskey, by the way. Really? Yeah. yeah Mr. Belvedere that. and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Belvedere was a butler. So what? Okay, just but, say it. I don't know if you've you seen his posture. His good posture. Yeah. So you get high end? I get high end, but it doesn't, a good whiskey is a good whiskey. I got, I got some for you what? too. Oh, some whiskey? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's now you, baby. Oh, yeah, can you give me the other bottle? The other one's mine. Yeah, I know. Yeah, this one. The other one is iced tea that just looks like whiskey. No. Nope. That was the one I was gonna drink. This is what we're doing, baby. <laughs> yeah, I don't drink though. I know. <laughs> you know the only time I ever drank that I ever tell you? Okay. Big pun pull a gun on me. So unless you got yeah. Everything's <laughs> <laughs> no, son, you know no, what? You know I'm loaded. You know. <laughs> All right, I got a I got a card here, Swiss Beats. Oh shit. And there's a bunch of You're names. Not drinking. No, I drink it. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> um, <laughs> I got a bunch of names here. Some of them are real whiskeys, mm -hmm. and some of them are fake. You gotta tell me what's what. Barrel Hitch. I never taste that. Okay, it's real. Okay. But Barrel Hitch. You, you know how many it. you know how many whiskeys they have? Bachelor Nation. Fake. Yeah. Do you ever watch The Bachelor? With the movie? The TV show? I don't watch TV like that. You don't watch TV? I don't get a chance to watch TV That's like that. That's why I'm not rich. I watch a lot. Of, <laughs> I watch a lot of TV. Uh, Corner Creek. I think that's real. Corner Creek is real. Yes. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Ooh, this is a good one. Fighting Cock. 
That sounds real too. It is real. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Garage Band. Mm-hmm. You ever use Garage Band to make beats? Nope. What do you make? What do you make your beats on? Ableton, MPC, Saint Vibes. Now was that was that fake? Oh, Garage Band? Yeah, it's yeah. fake. <laughs> I was about to say, they're getting real fancy with Mellow that. Corn. That's real. Mellow Corn. You heard of it? Or yeah. you just know it's real? Okay. That's real. Robert Muller Corn. <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> Robert Muller Corn should be real. <laughs> it's fake. All right, I got a couple more. Uh, first Degree Murder. It's probably real whiskey, because they get crazy with the names. It is not. I know. I know. It's I said not. probably. You felt, <laughs> you felt like it was real. Glenn Keith. Yes. You've heard of that? Yes. You've tried it? Toby Keith. I haven't heard of it. Have you heard of Toby Keith? Yeah, but I haven't heard of the damn whiskey. Okay, he's a country singer. Ooh, you ever thought about doing a country record? Have you ever? I would love to. You would probably do really well in that. I think so, too. Because, like, country is becoming, like, hip-hop-ish now, if you really listen to Dude, it. the lyrics is fire. Like, you know who loves Always country music? Fire. Jamaicans. <laughs> if you go to Jamaica, Kenny Rogers performs three times a year in Jamaica. This is facts, y'all. Bumba Cleet. Yo, because the things that Jamaicans talk about, country artists are talking about the same thing. Like, real, like, real life shit. Uh, you know what? Swiss Beats, whiskey and wine, ladies and gentlemen. You wanna do something? Showtime! God damn it. Ladies, God damn it. Ladies and gentlemen, Swiss Beats is here. And he is a self proclaimed expert on whiskey and wine. Now, look, Swiss, here's what I need from you. One of these is an expensive bottle of wine, mm -hmm. and one of them is a less expensive bottle of wine, AKA a cheap bottle of wine. Mm -hmm. You're gonna take a test, take a sip of each one, and you tell me which one is the expensive one, mm -hmm. which one is the cheap one, and you win a grand prize. So we'll start off with the uh, with the red wine, a Cabernet Sauvignon. Yeah. Sauvignon, yeah. All right, so you start with A. Take a little sip of A. Oh, I guess I have to serve it, okay. Here you go. That's nice. Okay, it's good. Yeah, it's gonna be weird with all these different wines, but absolutely, this is nice. Okay, you like that? <laughs> See, this is my style right here. Okay, and it might be a cheap wine, but it has the body of a Camus. Ooh. It has the body of um, Opus One, Ooh. like that very vibe that I like. So this is, I would prefer this one over that one. Okay, you, so which one do you think is more expensive? A or B? A might be more expensive, but I like B better. That is correct. Yeah. Yeah. A is expensive. He knows his stuff. That's correct, Swiss Beats. Uh, no. I didn't know, you didn't know you was gonna be on a game show today. Yeah. Okay, Swiss Beats. Now this is a white Chardonnay. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a big Chardonnay uh, drinker. Okay. You could palate cleanse. We got some cucumbers or whatever. Okay. That is A. Now you're trying to sip on Chardonnay number B. Okay. Sniffing it. A little taste. You keep looking up to the sky. Is that where you get your answers from? You just gotta like let it breathe. Like you gotta give it two seconds. This shit is not decanted or nothing. It just opens. Right. Closed like a motherfucker. <laughs> Wait, you can tell that it was closed recently, that we didn't let it let it breathe a little. Yeah, I'm sorry, we put this in a flute. Sorry? You put it in a flute? Yeah. I'm assuming flute is not the musical instrument I'm thinking of. <laughs> I think this might be the cheap one. The first one you say is the cheap one. Like, you I say like, A I like, is the cheap one. I like one. B better. You like B better, you say B is more expensive. No, 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 no. It might be the other way around. Right, yeah, I think you're getting drunk. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like B better than A. So. Okay, which one do you think is more expensive? I think A is probably more expensive. Ah, Swizzy. This is an $8 bottle of wine. That's a it's more expensive. It's fifty-two dollars in your world. But do you, I know but that's hold the same thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But then you see me go with the, this one first. Yeah, I said. I felt it. Right. And I just well, went. go with your gut. My gut was B, so I'm right. All right, one more. <laughs> one more. Is this prosecco? Just champagne. Don't mess with champagne. Okay. Now. Oh, come on, we're I'm celebrating. Like, okay. Remember in the nineties? Where's yours at? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to you. Can't change Happy. That. Oh, you can't? No. Come real? Happy yeah, New Year. Get the finger in between. Mm. I had a fight with Jay-Z on 1999 New Year's Eve party. Who won? <laughs> well, in life, Jay-Z won. All right, that was A. 
That was a champagne. That was A. And now this is B. Champagne is just bubbly wine, isn't it? It's the hangover king. Really? Ugh. You got a hangover champagne. What? Sniffing it. Um, oh. A is more expensive. A is not more expensive, Swiss Good. Beats. Thank God. Because <laughs> I was like... It's the nasty one, so it might be the most. Okay. <laughs> so A is that. nasty. A is a ten dollar bottle of champagne. Like they keep it. And that one is expensive. Congratulations, Swiss Beats. You know what? Yeah. You got. You got one out of three right. This I want you to wear this on your album cover. It is a rose all day hat. <laughs> Rose all day. I appreciate it. I'm going to send it straight to Rick Ross and say this is a gift from us. Yeah. Rose all day. Even though we had no rose, which is weird. Ro rose is for the uh, brunch. Sunday. You look like a ghetto Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you see the beat. Yeah. Especially this beat. You see me? Got this Sherlock Holmes. Yo, beat ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for my friend Swiss Beats. Yeah. Come on, what's your thing? What a show! Shout out to Swiss Beats for coming through today. His wine tasting palette is impeccable. We got real classy. And in the words of my friend Swiss Beats, rose all day. I'm gonna go eat that cheese. Thank you for joining us on What's Your Thing? Woo! If you wanna watch more What's Your Thing videos, that's right here. And then I'm gonna need you to subscribe right here. So subscribe here, watch videos here. They getting all that?